this is like the, the last effort of a particular phase of civilization. It's its last gasp, really, and I often use the metaphor of the caterpillar becoming the butterfly, because the caterpillar crunches its way through the ecosystem, it's very destructive, it eats 300 times its weight in a day, until it's so bloated that it hangs itself up and goes to sleep, and its skin turns into a hardened chrysalis, and then in its body you get these imaginal cells, biologists actually call them that, forming within the caterpillar's body. The caterpillar's body then actually becomes a nutritive soup for those cells. But what's important about that metaphor is that the old and the new coexist for a while. And it's the job of the caterpillar to preserve its life. It's a desperate government that we have now trying to control oil in the Middle East and wanting now to promote nuclear energy and all these things that they know better, but they have to play out the role of protecting themselves. It's their job. And if you love butterflies, you don't go around stepping on caterpillars. So we can't hate them. It doesn't do any good. But if you want alternative energy, you don't ask an oil economy uh, administration to produce it for you. We have to produce it. We imaginal cells have to show that it's cheaper, more efficient, and, and more effective. Our job is to build a new world. If we had the vision and a worldview that says our crisis is a birth and everybody's needed and everybody will have more of what they truly want, you could turn this desperate world into a renaissance of human creativity and love.